we're primarily focused on using techniques and concepts from physics and engineering to come up with new devices to enhance human function. It's not exactly Iron Man, but Professor Jim Collins and his team are working on ways to keep people standing upright. One out of three people over the age of 65 fall each year. We've developed vibrating insoles. These are devices that will deliver very low amounts of random vibration to the soles of subjects' feet, and this serves to make them balance better. So the vibration is at a level that the subjects actually can't feel, but it's sufficient to change the ability of the neurons on the bottoms of their feet to sense the signals they need to sense to better maintain balance, to better walk, to better run. And most interestingly, we can take a 75-year-old and have them balance as well as a 25-year-old. Remember this old ad? I've fallen and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. As people age, their balance can weaken due to arthritis and other medical conditions. The falls can lead to broken hips and other injuries that are hard for senior citizens to recover from. About 15 to 20 percent of such falls result in serious injury. Sending vibration to the neurons in your bottom of your feet and enabling them to better detect the signals they need to detect as to where you are in space, how much force is on the bottom of your feet. And then what happens is those neurons then send those signals to your spinal cord and your brain. And so what we're really doing is allowing neurons that may have been diminished in their capability to age, injury, or disease to go after signals that they previously could get but now are not in a position to get on their own. The technology is also for those on the other end of the age spectrum. So we're also using very similar technology where we're using random signals in the form of vibration to create a mattress that can deliver low amounts of vibration to infants and actually prevent them from going into sleep apnea, which is a major problem wherein they'll actually stop breathing during sleep. The mattress is still in development and it's yet to be tested on infants. When I visited the Wies Institute in June, Collins and his team were finalizing ways that would get their shoes to market in the near future. Matt Stewart, CNN Money, Boston.